Alrighty guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video today. Uh, if you've never seen one of my videos before, my name is Justin Menendez and I do all sorts of inshore fishing. Um, and today we're going to be fishing on my Tarpon Boatworks Tarpon Bay 19 flats boat. Uh, we're going to be looking for snook, tarpon, and maybe some big jacks. Uh, it could be any of those three, I don't really know yet. It's a bit breezy today. And my plan is to throw big live mullet. Um, so our first order of business today is actually to find those live mullet. It is technically the mullet run right now through the east coast, so there is mullet pretty much all around. I kind of just need to locate where they're at today, always moving. Um, so what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna hop on the engine and uh, we're gonna do some searching around a bit, look around and uh, pull out the cast net. Hopefully we can get a couple dozen, put them in the live well and go find some big snook, tarpon and jacks. So stay tuned. Uh, if you guys are not subscribed to the channel already, you can do it right below the video. It is totally free to do so. I didn't realize this, but a lot of people think it costs like money or something to subscribe. It's totally free and really all it does is keep you guys up to date. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. Let's go ahead and find our mullet. Let's go. All right, I just located a wad of bait right behind me. I'm about 95% sure they're mullet, 5% sure they're thread fins. I, I honestly can't tell from here, but there's a lot of them. So I'm gonna grab the cast net now, we're gonna get set up and we're gonna nail these baits. Them, boy. These are candies too. These are about the 10 inches. These are exactly what you want for snook and tarpon. Let's go. All right, so just absolutely whacked them there. That was probably like 24 in one cast. Good size ones too. They're probably 11 inches, all of them. Those are perfect for snook. I mean, perfect. They're not like too small where the snook doesn't want to fuss with them, but they're not too giant where maybe the snook might have any issue getting them or actually eating them, but they're just right on that middle size, perfect for snook and tarpon. So we're gonna go ahead and clean the boat up. Check this out, I got, <laughs> I got absolutely <laughs> So much mud on this boat right here. Or not mud, but like mullet slime. So we're gonna head and use the wash down pump and spray these off, spray all of this off. Got a ton on the back of the boat too. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna, we're gonna hop right into fishing today. Whack some good fish. Let's do this. Missed a huge snook. I pulled it out of his mouth, got excited. Oh, I gotta retie though. That blow up scared the crap out of me and I pulled back. I pulled back on it and I shouldn't have done that. I should have just reeled tight like you're supposed to with a circle hook. 
Oh, that blow up got me, man. It was so loud and it just I just jumped and pulled back. I, I really should not have done that. He frayed up the leader, so I'm gonna go ahead and retie toss back under there. I might be able to get another eat out of that dock. It was probably a 40 incher. Maybe high 30s. Oh, I just got excited. Second that blast happened, I just pulled back. The snook's on that. Oh, I know he's on it. He wants it. Yep, he's on it. He's on it. He's on it. He's on it. Come on. Yep, he's on it. Huge snook. Come on, get it. Stay with it. Stay with it. He's gonna get it right here. I don't know where he just went. He's right here. He, he wants that all the way. Yep. Yep, got him. Oh. Oh. Flipped it right up. I got him. That's a 40. Or a high 30s. Big snook. Big snook. He's not really fighting. That's what big snook do. They don't really fight. That's a huge one. <laughs> Big girl. Go around the trolling motor here. Oh. Yep, that's a 40. Oh. Work with me, girl. She's barely hooked. I mean, barely. Oh, she might shake it if I, if I get any slack, she could shake it. Come on. Oh. She was on that from the beginning. She wanted that. Stay with me. Let you get into that dock, girl. That's a huge snook. Okay. <laughs> I got her here. Oh, Rod just broke. <sighs> I was high sticking it. That was totally my fault. <laughs> Rod broke. Oh, chaos, man. Snook fishing. Come here, girl. Oh. I don't like the way that rod's pushing on the circle hook there, though. <laughs> hey, we got her. <laughs> Broken rod. That was entirely my fault. I was high sticking the crap out of that rod trying to get this snook to just turn its head away. That is a beast. She's probably 41, 42. <sighs> We're gonna go ahead and get a quick measure on this fish and then we're gonna show her to the camera. But normally when I catch big snook like this, I'll leave them in the water just like this, just like that, for them to kind of regain themselves, catch their breath. <sighs> How sick is that? <sighs> I think she's 40 on the dot. So I'm gonna bring her to zero here, throw her on the ruler here. <sighs> and she is, oh, not quite there, 39. That was close very healthy pretty fish <sighs> all right first fish of the day ain't too bad 39 incher really healthy snook and i'll take it i was looking for that 40 but just came up an inch short <sighs> right now morning's going great had one eat before that got excited pulled the hook i'm probably a fish the same size but absolute beauty i'll go ahead and put her back in the water make sure she gets a safe release all right, laying her back in the water there. She was on that from the beginning. I threw that mullet down and I knew she was on it. A lot of times snook are smart, they spook right off the splash when the mullet hits the water, but this girl, she was just immediately, like immediately darted over to it and followed it up all the way there. 
and I knew. She took a, sh took a swim under that dock chasing it, and when she came out, I just laid it right in front of her, and she just sucked it right off the surface like the boat wasn't in there. Oh, there she goes. She's trying to get away now. So when she's fighting me to kick off, I'm going to let her go. Mm, beautiful. Come on, girl. There she goes. Go, 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 go. Safe release, and she's gone. Yeah, she's cruising now. See you, girl. Beautiful fish. All right, well, this is a brand new Fenwick <laughs> Elite Inshore. I high stick the crap out of it. I was pulling it where high sticking is basically where you like pull it and you over exaggerate that bend in the rod and the rod can't take it um, and it snaps. So I should not have done that. That was an amateur move, but I landed the snook ultimately and up with a broken rod and we got it done. Got him on the 5,500 spin fisher. That fish really didn't, really wasn't like crazy fighting and taking off, but a lot of times big snook are like that. They're kind of lazy. Maybe try to slug around, maybe body you into a dock. And that's really what she tried to do there for a second, but <sighs> pulled her out. I'll go ahead and retie my other setup here. We got another, well, another one of these rods, a little bit stronger rod with a 5,500 spin fisher. I'll tie that one up. Whew, good first fish of the day. That was solid. All right, gonna go ahead and grab another mullet here. Oh, we are bubbling up in here. Grab another mullet. You, sir, are a good mullet. So like I'm saying, these mullet are perfect for big snook. Just the right size that I like using. I'll go ahead and put them on the measuring tape here because I'm kind of curious to actually how long these mullet are or how big they are. I guessed 11 inches earlier when I put them in the live well, but we'll just do a double check right here. All right, we got eight, nine, 10 inch. That is a 10 inch mullet. Close guess, close guess, close guess. Um, but yeah, these size mullet are just great, great for big snook. Holy crap, there's like six in front of me. There's one on it, one on it. The slot size fish. Oh, that one's not slot size. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was a big snook. He definitely saw the boat. He was literally like right up on the surface looking at the mullet. Oh, come on. Come on, snook. He wants that. He wants it so bad. He's on it all the way. He's all over it. Missed it? I'm gonna try to hold him still so the snook can eat him. Come on, snook. It's a big girl. She's all over him. Any second now, come on. Yep, there it is. Nope, missed it. Come on, girl. Yep, got it. Trying. She can't get her. It's like a 34 inch snook, 35 inch snook. He's coming back for him. She is so fired up. So fired up, the snook. Yep, missed him again. <sighs> so fired up, the snook. Missing and missing and missing. Did she get him that time? Oh, she got him that time. Grab him, tighten up. Oh, yep, yeah, there she is. Big girl, big girl. She doesn't even know what's going on. That is way bigger than I thought. That is way bigger than I thought. Oh, she's hooked perfectly. It's just like she's given up. <sighs> hey, that's how big snook fishing is a lot. If you keep their head out of the water, they don't fight. <sighs> that's a giant. She's big. She's real big. Let me see if I can grab her right here. 
make this easy. This would be the easiest snook I'd ever caught. Let's see, this will be the quickest, quickest fight ever on a giant snook. Oh my gosh. Ooh, I got her. Hey, that's how you do it right there. That is how you do it right there. She's probably 38, maybe 39 as well. What a beast. Looked like she might have been caught there before in that corner of the lip. I can't really tell. Like she's got some bleeding in there, but how about that? <laughs> oh, that. She's biting on me. These snook are fired up to eat mullet today. It's just the right temperature, right time of the year. They're chewing. We'll go ahead and measure her, and I'm just going to put her right back in the water and release her because I, I genuinely don't know why she didn't really fight there. I just want to make sure she gets a, gets home okay. So, quick release. Let me get that measure first. All right, we threw her right on zero. She is, oh my gosh, she's even closer to 40 than the last one. Probably 39.8. <laughs> what a beast, Snook. What a beast. We're gonna go ahead and hit a quick, quick unhook and let her go. I wanna make sure this fish is all right. She might be a little bit worn out. This fish looks pretty old. We're gonna make sure that she can go back and produce more snook for us to catch later down the road. Okay. Just like that, beautiful. So we got a 39 and like a 39.8. She must have hit 20 times. I'm not even joking. She must have hit like 20 times before she actually got that mullet. That was kind of ridiculous. Let's spin around here, grab her tail. What a beauty. What a beauty. All right. All right. She is definitely, without a doubt, an old fish. You can see that tail. It's just not the cleanest. It's a bit raggedy. Huge broomstick tail. But we're going to make sure she gets a good release. Maybe someone else will catch her one day. And she can make some more snook for us to catch. Let's kick it. There she goes. <sighs> All right, she is just super relaxed. That was so weird. Now she's going. I'm gonna head on up into these bushes here. I don't know if you guys can see her, but cruising on up there. She probably doesn't really know where it's at or where she's at. Maybe a bit, uh, bit stunned, but looks like she's gonna go relax under there for now. <sighs> well, what an incredible fish to catch. We're gonna keep on fishing here, but we've got a 39 and then like a 39 and a half. So two really, really awesome fish. And that fish, I, I wanna just say she's old. She looked a bit worn out. So I made sure to give her a good release, take care of her. Didn't keep her too long out of the water. Um, she just didn't really fight that well, which a lot of times giant snook, they really don't unless you, you let them fight. But if you really keep their head out of the waters with those, with, out of the water with those big snook, they, they don't do too much damage. So that fight probably only lasts maybe 30 seconds. I'm not sure, but made sure we got a quick release and she's gone. But we got a whole, whole live well full live mullet. Still got a ton. Still got a ton. Let me actually just see how much we got here. Well, <laughs> it's covered in bubbles, but from the aerators, but <laughs> we probably got still 20 more mullet to use today. And the snook are eating. I'll tell you what, they are eating. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, grab the rod, get rigged up and just keep fishing. There's giants right here. Oh my God, that's a giant. There he goes, come on. I'm gonna have to tighten up or he's gonna get me in the dock. That's a giant. That's number three. Oh no. Oh no. It just pulled out of his lips. Oh no. Oh, that was the biggest of the day without a doubt. Oh, the hook pulled out of his lips. Nothing, nothing I did wrong there. I mean, I had him tight, had him tight. Survived the jump. He just inhaled that. I don't know if you guys could see that fish at all in the shadow. You might've been able to, but the second it laid down, he just shot up and just inhaled it. Ooh, that was a big one. <sighs> the adrenaline is just insane with these fish. It is insane.
Well, just went ahead and parked myself on the island here for some lunch. We've got a racetrack, ham and cheese sub, pretty solid. Got a Powerade Zero. These things are pretty good, I love them. No calories, great, super good. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. And uh, yeah, I think that's gonna wrap it up for the day. I really think I probably should have had one more fish today. I can't, I, I'm thankful for those two giant snook I got, but I just can't help but think that last fish, I really should have had them. I don't know what happened. The fish ran, shook his head, went all over the place, took off, and was still able to shake the hook. So not sure exactly what happened there, but either way, two amazing fish. Fish were eating really good today. They were blasting those mullet. Um, just eating really well. It's just probably that time of year. Nice, it's not too hot not cool it's just right in the middle which is that fall season so fish are eating good had a lot of fun if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel please hit that red subscribe button that helps a lot uh, helps you guys see my videos if you enjoy watching them it's totally free but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and just kill this sub right here thank you guys for watching I will see you guys in that next video